If you walk around with a yuck mouth, ew. If you walk around with a white tongue, oof. Mm -mm. It's not that I don't want you Hey babes, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, I'm going to be filming my 2022 feminine hygiene routine. And I know we're going to smell good all 2022, okay? And I'm going to give you all my current favorite hygiene products and everything that I do on a daily, on a weekly to just smell good, feel good. Because as a woman, not as a female, not as a girl, not as a young lady, but as a grown woman, hygiene is key hygiene is everything if you ain't smelling right baby if it ain't looking right it ain't smelling right mm -mm -mm. that it's not cute it's not gonna pass it's not gonna give so we're gonna get right to this video hope you guys enjoy it make sure you leave me a like and comment down below some of your favorite hygiene products or anything that you're currently using to smell good or feel good and stuff like that in the comment section below follow me on all of my social media in the description box down below like this video subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload but we're gonna get right into it all right yeah, so before i get into this video i am just a little bit under the weather i don't know what it is but like my throat has been like really, really dry and like itchy so you grab up and drinking some tea but you know what if you see me you know sniffling and my red my eyes are a little red and puffy that's why okay but anyways i'm gonna break this video down into like a few different categories so the first category is going to be like oral hygiene and just all things in mouth and breath and stuff like that because that is super important because hygiene starts with your mouth your face you can't wake up and be talking all up in people's face and your breath smell like halitosis and your tongue is white and it's just it was never giving that okay so first things first i'm gonna show you how the toothpaste and the toothbrush i use all right y'all so this is a toothbrush that i use it's just a regular reach toothbrush that you can literally get from walmart dollar general i like my toothbrushes to be on the firm side versus the soft side i know some people like soft toothbrushes that's not really my cup of tea because i feel like it's just not really cleaning my teeth hard enough i just like to make sure that my teeth feel really really clean so i do like to go in with the firm or harder toothbrushes so this is just a regular toothbrush always make sure you get some type of case cover for your toothbrush because you don't want any germs or anything flying um on your toothbrush and contaminating your mouth or making you sick or anything like that also um we just entered a new year so hopefully you switch out your toothbrush at least that's something that i like to do you know when we go into the new year girl throw that toothbrush out and get a new one you should already be changing your toothbrush regularly anyways like every three months um you should be getting a new toothbrush you don't want to be using the same toothbrush all year round because that's just a lot of bacteria and germs that are accumulating in your toothbrush and i could play a major role as to why your breath is stinky and you brush your teeth you do everything but your breath is still hot think to yourself when was the last time i changed out my toothbrush that's probably why so i just changed out my toothbrush actually like a few days ago since we did just enter a new year so this is that and then for toothpaste i do alter between a few different toothpastes but for right now i'm using the colgate max fresh i really do love this toothbrush we just toothpaste because it is whitening and it just makes my breath feel very very minty and fresh i love that minty minty feel like I want my I want my breath to just feel like just icy cool like I love that cool minty feel like after I do like my whole oral hygiene thing so I will link this one down below but besides this one I do also use the Crest 3D white toothpaste and I will link that one down below I think it's called the radiant smile or radiant something I know it's in like a purple box or something like that so i will link this one and that other one in the description box down below i ran out of it so i can't show y'all but i do like that one as well now for the start of the show miss girl we got a tongue scraper and if you are not using a tongue scraper your breath is hot it stank your tongue is white and it's okay because look i'm about to save y'all life right now so this is a metal tongue scraper i did get my tongue scraper off of amazon now i like the metal one because it lasts way longer super easy to clean um but they also do have plastic tongue scrapers rubber tongue scrapers like i said i like the metal one because it's easy to clean and it lasts a very long time like you don't really have to replace it because it's metal so you can just clean it off wash it off and it's good with rubber and plastic it does hold on to germs and stuff a lot longer and a lot of 
bacteria accumulates and it's not as easy to clean. So I recommend getting a uh, metal one. Um, I did get a two pack on Amazon for about eight or nine dollars. So they really are affordable and you do get two. So I will link everything in this um, video down below. Um, but yes, girl, if you're not using a tongue scraper, you have to get one. And I know somebody's going to be like, well, I brush my tongue with my toothbrush. No. First of all, think about that. That's kind of nasty because it's like, okay, let me go brush my teeth, brush my teeth. And then like, I'm going to scrub my tongue and get all this stuff from my tongue on my toothbrush and then be brushing my teeth with that same bacteria again i feel like it's just a lot more sanitary to just have something completely separate just for your tongue just to make sure you're really getting all that dirt and stuff off and also a toothbrush doesn't do, doesn't do as good of a job as a tongue scraper would yes you can brush the surface but a scraper literally is scraping everything that's on top and inside of your tongue out so even if you can't even see anything on visibly on your tongue after using one of these it will still be stuff on there that you couldn't even see just because this just does a way better job at cleaning your tongue so if you're not using this baby if you walking around with a yuck mouth ew if you walking around with a white tongue oof, mm -mm. No, it, it, it's just, it's as a woman, like, are you good, sis? Like, do we need to have a talk? Because why, why is, that's not okay. Like, it was never, it was never okay, okay? So, definitely invest into your oral and get you a tongue scraper. Also, I've been trying to remember to floss more. And did you know, like, flossing actually helps whiten your teeth? Because we have a lot of plaque and stuff hidden in between our teeth that we can't see and it actually makes our teeth appear more yellow. Now, I'll be on here and lying to y'all if I told y'all I floss twice a day. And I remember every single day, twice a day. I don't. I'm not going to lie to you. I do be forgetting sometimes. But I'm trying to make it a habit at least like every night to floss my teeth. Um, after like a long day, just eating a whole bunch of different stuff. Stuff probably going to stick into my teeth. And that's also um, a big way to get cavities and stuff. Like if you're not flossing your teeth and stuff. So make sure um, if you're cavity prone that you're really making sure you're you know kicking it up a notch and flossing your teeth but even if you aren't cavity prone we still do want to make it um a good habit to floss our teeth and make sure you know we got them pearly whites you got to take care of your teeth we got to take care of our dentures y'all like we don't want to be 90 years old and all of our teeth and fell out of our head because when we was you know growing up in our 20s and in our teens we wasn't doing what we needed to do so we want to make sure we take care of our pearly whites so they can last us a lifetime and we don't have to pay for dentures when we, you know, 80 and 90 years old because who wants to do that, right? Who wants to pay for that? So as for mouthwash, I do use Listerine. Now I know there are a few different mouthwashes that I see the girlies using on TikTok and on YouTube. I haven't gotten there yet. Um, I haven't gotten there yet, but I do want to try a few different um, mouthwashes because I know some of them are like alcohol free and just better for your mouth and for your teeth. But as of right now, I love me some Listerine to each his own. You use what you like. I'm going to use what I like. This has never steered me wrong. Um, this is just a regular ultra clean Arctic mint. Like I said, I love that minty. I love my mouth to be on fire. And I know that's not a good thing because it's like, maybe it's burning your mouth, but like, the girls that get it, get it. And if you don't get it, then you just don't get it. Um, if my mouth and my tongue and my throat isn't burning after using the mouthwash, my mouth is not clean. And I don't care if it's bad. I'm going to do it. Mm, and don't comment don't comment down below and tell me not to do it because I'm still going to do it until I don't want to do it no more. Okay? So, Listerine does also have like an alcohol-free version and stuff like that. But it's just more expensive. And I'm just not, like I said, I'm not there yet. When I get to that level of all the you know the clean products and everything clean and green and you know we'll get there but i ain't there so we're gonna use what we like to use so um i like this one though because it does make my breath feel super just fresh minty icy cool like y'all get what i'm saying but yeah so lastly this isn't really like oral hygiene this is an extra but you know your girl do like to keep her teeth nice and white and what better way to do that than with some whitening strips now i'm not gonna lie to y'all these things expensive okay these are a little pretty penny this is the up and up version but it was still 
high so this is compared to the crest 3d whiteness strips the classic white so you know them crest 3d whiteness strips be running me you know running me a little coin so i did get the up and up version just to save like two or three dollars because i'm gonna i'm gonna save my coin where i can save it it's literally the same thing but i think i did get these from target for $18.99 I would say but it's only 10 treatments for like you might as well say $20 after tax so it is a little bit expensive and then the more treatments you want obviously the more money but I did just start off with 10 and then next month um, when I'm done with these I will go get me some more but so far I have really seen a difference in my teeth I'm not gonna lie to y'all crest 3d white be whitening and they do what it needs to do every time so I do recommend if you you know got the extra money and you want to just invest in your smile invest in yourself you know have that nice pearly white smile because you can never go wrong with that definitely pick you up some whitening strips I will link mine down below they are a little pricey you know what I'm saying because you don't get a lot but they do have the pearls pearling like tell me it's not and if you tell me it's not mm -hmm, I, you're hating you're hating okay all right y'all so moving on to the body and stuff i'm not gonna go into too many details about like my skincare routine or not like that because i do have separate videos on like my skin and you know my whole routine and what that is so i will link that in the description box down below if you want to know what my skincare routine is so getting into body care and like soap and stuff like that the soap that i use is the dove sensitive skin soap now if you are you know returning from you know my old videos y'all already know i'm a ride and i'm a die behind some dove sensitive skin we use this head to toe yes i said head to toe including you know i'm seeing my little home girl down there yes we're gonna use some dove sensitive skin only because when i find something that really works for me i'm gonna ride till the wheels fall off until it stops working for me i know i've seen a lot of people using like the honey pot now and using like I think it's something called like a sugar cookie wash or just like other like feminine washes and stuff like that. I'm not too into just hopping on trends when it comes down to like, you know, that area only because I am very sensitive, y'all. Like my skin is so sensitive. I react to anything in the slightest. I already have super dry skin. I have eczema. I just it's just a lot so i'm like i can't just be you know going out to the store buying this buying that trying this trying that just because you know i want to do it because my body is going to be mad at me like she's going to be reacting having you know allergic reactions and stuff we don't got time for that so i do just use my dust sensitive skin bar down there all over my body this is the first thing that i use when i get in the shower just to get like that dirt off and stuff like that before i go in with my body wash before i go in with my scrubs i like to go in with a bar so just to get all the dirt and gunk and just like wash the day away first and when i do use it for you know downstairs just make sure you keep it on the outside you're never putting soap in your stuff never doing the most like y'all already know that we ain't doing the absolute most but just on the outside parts of where the skin is and where we sweat and you know stuff like that you want to make sure that you're washing okay now when it comes down to our body washes y'all know i'm gonna have some good tea on that so my favorite these days is native now native is expensive y'all like y'all know what i'm saying self-care i feel like you need to invest you need to spend those extra couple dollars on that self-care because you're putting this stuff on your skin you want to smell good you want to look good so why not get the best of the best and native is very very good at just being you know very clean and good for your body it's aluminum free it has absolutely no harsh chemicals great for sensitive skin and they have different scents that smell amazing so nine times out of ten you're gonna find something that you like so this is a coconut and vanilla scent and I'm the girls that get it get it and the girls that don't you just don't like coconut and vanilla is always going to be a go-to for me it smells so good vanilla is just like you can never go wrong with a classic vanilla so this body wash it's just it's everything um this was i want to have like 11.99 so that is expensive for one body wash but i don't use the same body wash every single day so it does last me a few months because yeah i got a whole collection of body washes so i'll be dibbling and dabbling you know going back and forth but this is something that i could just always gravitate towards um these days and it just smells so good and you can just really not 
go wrong at all plus like i said they do have different scents and stuff so in native you're definitely gonna find something you like it's aluminum free all of the ingredients are literally on the back of the bottle and each ingredient it tells you what it is why they're using it why it's in their product so it's just like an all-around clean brand and they also do have deodorants and stuff that are like aluminum free which is like better for your body and stuff because aluminum that's in a lot of deodorants it actually can cause breast cancer skin cancer and stuff like that so that's definitely something you want to make sure you're looking out for that's why i really do love native like you you would have thought that this is like a, a native sponsor but i'm not even they need to smart native if y'all watching send your girl an email my email is in the description box send me an email we can't work because i'm over here hyping y'all stuff up like i'm getting checked and i'm not but i really just love it and i really don't want to put the girls on so let me just show y'all a little up close this is my native the girls that get it get it go get it okay now next on the list is this caress body wash and y'all this is a shea butter and brown sugar body wash this is an exfoliating body wash so it does have like little beads and stuff in it that you just like um exfoliate all over your body and it just makes your skin feel real smooth and stuff but it does have shea butter and brown sugar in it so it just smells so good like it just gives yummy like it gives yum yum like you can really just never go wrong with this definitely I went through about three bottles of this stuff already and it just smells so good so i don't use this every single day but this is something that i like to use when i just want to get that extra little little you know what i'm saying when i want to make my skin feel a little, little extra smooth now moving on to body scrubs the tree hut tahitian vanilla is definitely top two and not two she is that girl she gonna ride or die you know she she's been holding a girl down since you know a few years now so i definitely love this because it does just make my skin feel really good especially on those days i'm going to be shaving my legs or getting ready to wax or anything like that when you want to give your skin that extra abrasiveness and just scrub off all that dirt dead skin cells and all of that this is the one i also love um coco colada by this brand but i also am looking into trying like some different brands of like exfoliators and stuff that's definitely something that i'm open to so if you have any favorites definitely leave me a comment down below so moving on to when i get out the shower and we want to moisturize our body and stuff like that i like to use my fenty skin now fenty skin she is she's very um expensive yes this one jar was $39 so it came about $42 after tax miss riri gonna get her coin every time but it smells so good it's very thick and creamy and it does have shea butter in it and just mango butter like all good natural butters are that are just like not gonna do your skin any harm but i don't use this every night because like i said this was like really expensive for me $40 on a body butter is really high argue with your mama don't argue with me because y'all know it's expensive i don't even care so <laughs> yes um but i do love this i do like to just slap this all over like my neck and chest area i don't apply this all over my body because it's not really necessary because it's not like this is a body lotion this is a body butter so this is just you know something that you apply to your chest and neck area that you layer on with your other scents so miss rihanna definitely did do her thing with this one y'all it smells so good i do have the full size and i do have the mini version as well i did buy the mini first just to try it out i didn't want to go ahead and just spend 40 dollars on the big one and i'm not even like like it or my body had like an allergic reaction to it or something because like i said i am very sensitive so i did get this small one i tried it for a week i had it i had tried it every single day for a week just to make sure like my body is good um, no reactions no sensitivity and then I was like you know what bingo I love it it smells good I'm gonna have no allergic reaction to it so I went on Sephora and I said let me just blow the big let me just blow the big on her because Fenty skin is that girl and like I said you need to invest into your self-care and into your hygiene products y'all and this is just it's everything like so for my actual like arms and legs i do like to use my nivea this is the vanilla and almond oil lotion this um smells really good like i said i i'm just a sucker for vanilla for coconut anything that's like a sweet but like not too sweet not like a childish sweet but like a sweet warm scent um definitely love all of that it layers really well with all of my other products that i use so I do love me some Nivea. Um, I use this all over my arms and on my legs. Just to, you know, 
give the girls give the boys more moisture give the girls silk silky smooth skin so yes oh my god y'all i almost forgot to show y'all um the razor that i use so this is the venus gillette razor this is the sensitive um one they have a few different ones this does have f five how many three blades not five blades i know i did have one of them that had five blades on it but this does have three blades and i do shave my legs with this and to shave my legs i do not use shaving cream anymore because i just i feel like shaving cream is very like unnecessary like you don't need shaving cream to shave your legs um if you're shaving like down there or you know somewhere else to where the hair is a little bit thicker um abrasive and stuff like that like those more sensitive areas then definitely i will recommend getting some type of shaving cream or some type of lubricant that can help glide the hair and you don't get no ingrowns and stuff like that but for my legs i pretty much be shaving my legs like every day if not every other day so i just use my bar soap or like my liquid soap foam it up and then like shave my legs like that because i'm not gonna go buy shaving cream to shave my legs it's just not necessary and for like my downstairs area and my armpits i do wax them myself so i don't shave um those areas anymore so like shaving for me is just like like girl just use some soap slap it on there and shave it up because it ain't that serious okay all right so like back to moisturizing my skin i do like to use bio oil um with my body lotion and stuff i like to use this sometimes just because bio oil is really good at just evening out your skin tone fading any stretch marks or um you know any hyperpigmentation uneven skin tone stuff like that is really good and i do got a little look at the scars on my legs from my childhood when i was just a reckless child and i was just you know acting a fool acting a fool acting a fool so i do like to mix a little bit of this with my body lotion i'm not gonna lie to y'all bio oil is a little bit expensive but i do definitely think like i said it is worth the investment all these products i'm showing y'all as you can see like it's only a little bit of um oil left i use this stuff like i use the heck out of this stuff but this one bottle has definitely lasted me well over a year because you literally don't need no more than one or two drops because it's a very strong um oil and it's very liquidy so a little bit does go a long way but i do highly recommend if you have any like, uneven skin tone stretch marks hyperpigmentation or anything you just want to like smooth out in your skin bio oil is definitely the way to go all right y'all so like the last little category for this um little hygiene routine just like smell good like deodorizer like perfume and stuff like that so the deodorant i've been using lately is the dove advanced care this is the karen coconut i told y'all anything coconut or vanilla yeah give it to me swing on my weight because i want it. it smells really good but during the summertime obviously i do change my deodorant to something a little bit more stronger that i know is gonna hold me because obviously we sweating more we out outside it's hot outside um and i do want something a little bit more stronger so during the summertime i do like to use my degree dry spray deodorant i will also link that one down below but since it's winter time and i do live in new york like it's brick outside it's 15 degrees baby we're gonna throw in that dove deodorant and you know it lasts me all day it holds me and i also do have the zero percent aluminum one so i do alternate between the two i am trying to switch to like a little bit more on the cleaner side of like aluminum free and not putting all the chemicals and toxins on my body and stuff because i just want to be more aware of like what i put in my body and what i put on my body and stuff so this smells really good like i said she is that girl and then as for a fragrance lately i did just get this perfume now this is one of the perfumes that i've been grabbing towards a lot and ever since i bought it like i just cannot not wear it like i can't get it out of my head i smell it all day long i get so many compliments on it already and it is the ysl libre perfume this is the eau de parfum um it smells amazing it lasts all day definitely if you have a sephora near you go to sephora and just get like a tester they do also have the little travel sizes that i think are like 30 dollars if you want to try it out before you go ahead and invest in the big bottle but this is a 3.4 ounce and i did get this for christmas but i believe my mom paid like 132 for it and it did come with this big one it came with the travel size and it came with a hand cream it was like a deal that macy's had so if you can find you like a cute little um kit that has like all three that'd be really nice so like i can keep this one at home or if i go on vacation or anything like that i can always bring my little travel and it also came with like a cute little hand cream little body lotion so if you ever want to layer up on your sense and make sure you know you smelling just extra good like extra strong all day you could also do that as well this is definitely one of my favorites and i'm gonna also show y'all another one of my favorites so this is a kkw body three she is just 
it smells so good it's definitely like a woody um vanilla smoky type of smell but like once you smell it you know and i love stuff that just have like that woody i love stuff that just have like that woody like spiciness to it but like still sweet or not like overpowering or anything like that if you get it you get it but um i will link this one down below too i did just recently get this about a week ago so i have been wearing it like every single day and it just smells so good so highly do recommend y'all go try it out i will link this one down below as well all right y'all so that's pretty much it for my 2022 feminine hygiene routine i really do hope you did enjoy this video don't forget to leave me a like comment subscribe share tell a friend to tell a friend hit the notification bell because you're never going to want to miss a beat you're going to love it here i promise you you're going to love it here okay and follow your girl on all my social media in the description box down below and i will see you in my next video peace